Working with faces inside Perfect Portrait is extremely easy. I already have an image open and the program has automatically recognized where the face or faces are of the subjects in your photo. I have two subjects in this image and it's placed boxes around each one of those faces. To go ahead and start working on a specific person, all I need to do is click on the face that I want to start with. Let's go ahead and choose the boy on the right. I'll click inside the box around his face and it's going to zoom in. The next thing you'll need to do is select the center of the eyes and the edges of the mouth to tell the program where those facial feature selections are going to be. We'll start by clicking on the center of the left eye, then we'll click on the center of the right eye, next the left corner of the mouth, and last the right corner of the mouth. Once we've gone through and we've shown the program where those feature points are, go up to the top right hand corner and click on Done. It will then place facial feature points around the eyes, lips, and teeth where we can make adjustments if we need to. It did a great job with the lips and the teeth, but it's a little off on the eyes. To make adjustments, just click and drag on any of the points to move them into place. We'll go ahead and adjust that left eye there. And I'll do the same for the right eye, just shrinking it down a little bit so that it surrounds the right area of the eye. Once I've gone through and the facial feature points are selected, the next thing I need to do is adjust the skin mask. On the left-hand side of the screen, you may have noticed that a panel has popped up. And right now, Adjust Points has been highlighted. Those are the points we were just moving around, the eyes, the lips, and the teeth. By clicking on Adjust Skin Area, you can take a look at the Skin Retouching Mask. Anywhere where you can see the image clearly will be adjusted by the Skin Retouching pane on the right-hand side of your screen. Anywhere that has a red overlay will be protected by those smoothing and blemish removal sliders. If I hover my mouse over my image, you'll also notice that a brush appears. This is a way for me to paint areas into the skin selection or to paint areas out of that skin selection. By going up to the tool options bar, you have all of your basic brush changes. By clicking the mode drop down menu, you can choose whether you want to add to skin or whether something is not skin. You can adjust the size, the feathering, and the opacity of the brush, as well as by clicking on the gear icon at the center of the tool options bar, you can also select our perfect brush option. The perfect brush is great for edge detection around areas where there are tiny little hairs and hard to reach spots. We'll go ahead and leave it on because I want to get nice and close to the edge of his hairline. All we need to do next is just start clicking and dragging over the areas that are not part of my skin selection. You'll see with that perfect brush on, it does a great job of getting nice and close to the edge of the hairs. And we'll go ahead and do that on the left-hand side very quickly here as well. And I can go over, it looks like it grabbed a little bit of the face on the right, so I can go ahead and paint that out as well. Now once my skin selection is completely set, if you go down to the bottom left-hand corner of your preview area, you'll see that there is a small circle inside of a square icon. This is the mask view that we're looking at right now, that red overlay. By clicking this off, now we can take a look at our image and we can either move on to the next subject in our photo by clicking the arrow keys on the left or right hand side of the preview, or we can continue on our way with our skin retouching, color correction, and eye and mouth adjustments.